another vintage discount store AM radio. This is Coronado, which was Gamble Scogmo. Uh, I guess that was a Minneapolis, Minnesota. That was a, a chain. So this was one of those 99 cent honkoidial chain radios. And I'm trying something a little different with this video. Um, I'm recording it in 1440 by 1080 at 5 meg, so pretty low uh, bit rate. I want to see how it comes out because you end up with these massive files that YouTube really doesn't take advantage of. Plus I'm using a super cardioid mic pointed directly at the target in mono. So it might sound like I'm back behind uh, something. But let's see how this turns out. I'm really curious. This is sort of an experimental video. Gamble Skogmo. Figure out how to get this Gamble Skogmo open. Made in Hong Kong. This is a very, very minimal radio. This is what I call a city radio. Oscillator, first IF transformer, one IF transistor right there, and final IF transformer, and we should have right there, we have the detector diode. Converter, first IF, detector, first audio, audio driver, and then push-pull audio out. So let's power it up. Uh, this was in the not working box. Okay, here we go. Coronado Gamble Skogmo. Nine volts. We have our current limiting light bulb there. Uh, just like bringing up an old TV set in case there's something shorted in the radio. Or, or I screw up and short something. Could really work this hand thing here. So instantly we have a problem because the light came on. See the light bulb right there? That light bulb is like 60 milliamps and this radio should idle at five. The light should not come on unless maybe at max volume. I'm going to go up to 12 volts here. We might have multiple problems here. It's something's shorted. It's in the audio output because it's getting hot. I can feel it here with my thumb. Those transistors are getting hot. Yeah, those are getting hot. Um, so maybe we have bad audio output transistors, but it also seems like we have a Crackle Pony Master Play. Well, 
but it is tuning in stations. So I think we need to start by sorting out what's going on with the audio output transistors. These transistors right here, the ones with the brown brown paint. Egg sack. Right there, egg sack. So it looks like they have base collector emitter marked on the bottom here. Because you ain't getting no schematic for nothing this cheap. Uh, Sam's covered some of these and it's possible, but I doubt it. Anyway, I'm just doing a, a visual, and I might check these resistors, the biasing resistors here. I'm sure the people that only watch the first 30 seconds of the video and then post a comment knowing exactly what's wrong with it have already done that. What we got here is everything is marked. Uh, base, base, emitter is in the middle, and then this is the drive transformer, this is the output transformer, so collector, collector. So, and this is the center. So, if we go from emitter to base on this side, we have uh, 0 0.221. I don't think this is germanium. These are not germanium transistors. That that would be a high bias for a germanium, a low bias for a silicon. Silicon's around 0 0.6, 0 0.220, 0 0.220. On this one is 0.221, and then I'll go from emitter to collector on this side. Um, 3.86 volts. I'll go to collector on this side. Five point nine four. They should be the same. Three point eight five. Five point nine four. Let's see. Our voltage coming in is. This is our voltage coming in, 5.92. Transistor, on, that's interesting. How could the transistor side be higher? So the transistor on the right is definitely loading the hell out of the transformer. Because if we measure across the transformer, across the coils, got zero volts drop on that one and two volts drop on that one remember we're using a light bulb here so we're not at full nine volts the light bulb of course is current limiting so we only have six volts coming into the radio so this transistor on the right looking at it from the bottom is definitely chewing a hell of a lot of current. I hope it's understandable what I'm measuring here. You have a center tap transformer on both sides of this thing. One of them is where the signal comes in, one of them is where the signal drives out into the speaker. And so you have positive voltage going into the center tap of the transformer and then on one side going to one collector of one transistor you have two volts drop across the transformer on the other side you have zero so it's like one transistor is conducting one is not um, they should be even so we definitely got a problem with the transistor on the right we also got this crackling issue. This thing looks like it was exposed to some moisture. It's got some crusty. Well, let's try and get this audio output issue solved. Um, yeah, the bias is very low. The bias should be around 600 millivolts. And with the, 
with the positive lead right here connected to the center tap of the transformer, uh, it's obviously, and then the, the emitters are tied together and then tied to ground through a resistor. It's obviously NPN silicon transistors. So it seems like the one on the, the right here is shorted. Seems like I talked about that over and over and over and over. But hopefully, there's a lot of interest in these little transistor radios. Hopefully, it offers some understanding. But let me get that transistor out and we'll test it. This was the good transistor, or the one that was not conducting. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show on this camera, but there's obviously moisture intrusion here the the legs are all corroded where they go into the transistor and I know that's a that's a big uh, thing that Jordan Peer talks about because he's in a coastal area and you get people with receivers that are in damp locations and the, the it happens on vacuum tubes too the moisture will eventually break the hermetic seal but yeah, I don't know if it shows here, but there's like green corrosion where the leads go into the transistor. Anyway, I'm on diode check here. And this one was checking good. Here we got nothing there between base and collector, I think. So we got uh, 0.6 volts there, which is correct. And we'll go from base to emitter. And we have 0.6 the same. And then we'll go from collector to emitter and it should measure nothing both ways, which it does. Nothing and nothing. So this one with using diode check measures good. Let me pop the other one out. Okay, here's the other one that was loading the hell out of the uh, transformer. I'm going to go between collector and emitter. It's just shorted. Um, I'll go between base. Yeah, it measures okay there. It actually measures okay between base and collector and base and emitter. Yeah, it measures okay between base and emitter and base and collector, but between collector and emitter, it's shorted. So pop them in the transistor checker next, the M tester. Okay, here's the bad one, which, you know, exactly, that's what we see. We see two diodes and a resistor is shorted between collector and emitter. Okay, here's the good one. So, beta's 395, really? Try that again. Beta's 194. I think the leads are just corroded. Come on, thing, make up your mind. Yeah, this tra I have a feeling this transistor is flaky. Small businesses are the backbone of America, yet when it comes to workers' comp. Okay, I just took the bad transistor out. Um, so now it's going to sound sort of distorted and single-sided and all of that, but it got rid of our light bulb, and obviously it's loud and clear, except the tuning capacitor is corroded inside, and this is a, from the moisture. I don't know where this thing was stored, but obviously it was in a damp environment. Um...
That's got to be so annoying. But you can see it's it's starting to work in different areas now. How do I feel about spraying contact cleaner in it? I really don't feel good about that on a um, one of these things with those plastic covered uh, wafers. So I'm gonna just sit here and scratch it for a few minutes and see if it wakes up. Okay, what I did is I took some of this, which I shouldn't have done this, and I'm assuming that the, where the ring is in that tuning capacitor that connects the shaft to ground is what's not making good contact. So I just took this and I just put this up under here and just sprayed it on the shaft. Just a little tiny squirt spritzer right on the shaft. And I, I'm assuming this is like a silicone oil stuff. It'll work its way down in there. Uh, you know, I just want to don't want to get those plates all jacked up But it seems to be It seems to be helping at the bottom end. Nineteen children. Nineteen children. Pause for a moment of silence. Pause for a moment of silence when you say that. should date the video before coming out here we no mental health history this is a 2SC 3199 listen westbound side of the 101 at Laurel Canyon crash there is back up traffic onto the 134 going westbound in addition to an earlier crash on the 134 westbound near Olive Avenue that still has traffic backed up from about Buena Vista and you're still seeing some slowing over on the uh, northbound side of the 5 Gold State Freeway coming out of East LA. This thing is way off. The alignment is way off. KNX is almost right at the top of the band. That's why there's no sensitivity. For such sociopathology that you are indeed a sociopath, if that's what you think. So let's begin with the notion that everybody is revolted and sickened to their stomach by such, by such things. Wish I could find the classical station. You could really hear the difference. The compromise on gun control legislation. Please, 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 damn it. Put yourself in the shoes of these parents for once. Maybe that thought, putting yourself in the shoes of these parents instead of in the arms of the NRA might let you wriggle free from the vice-like grip of the NRA. Schumer is working with Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy to try to negotiate a bipartisan compromise, but Republicans seem unwilling to agree to any gun control legislation at the moment. Okay, this is a right here that's a qsc 3199 um i just pulled it off of this board it's probably not the right transistor but for this thing it's good enough 
So I'm going to install it and then we'll play with the alignment. This is this is our only music station, the classical. Everything else is news and politics. I know that offends some people and but whatever, it's AM radio and if you're interested in fixing AM radios, that's really what it's all about, news and politics. Foreign language, at least in my market. These don't work very good anyway, even brand new out of the box. This is, a, like I said at the beginning, it's a city radio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move it down a little bit. Let me see. This station was right at the top of the dial. I'm trying to move it down. As I rotate the tuning capacitor, I'm moving the dial. I don't want to tweak the oscillator coil on this. It's That's it, I've got it all the way closed. could go down a little bit more that's for sure 570 which should be right at the bottom outside those it's clear up here more renewable energy than time of use rates an easy way to make a change for the better visit sce.com slash tou rates for more information seller's advantage can close on your home in days or months whatever works for you portions of the following are pre-recorded Callers before they are gone. That's 1 800 495 6468. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Swire, General Manager of Mercedes Benz of Valencia. Ever wonder what those cool Mercedes Benz are doing? Talk 
KBLA is Black Lives Matter Radio. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Outrage in Texas today after 19 students and two teachers were killed in a mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Governor Greg Abbott. It is intolerable and it is unacceptable for us to have in the state anybody who would kill little kids in our school. Children are a blessing. Reporter Chris Fox is in Uvalde. Rob Elementary School remains a crime scene. Police helicopters overhead surveilling the path used by the 18-year-old gunman who Tuesday morning gained entrance, barricaded himself in a fourth grade classroom before turning the assault rifle on students and teachers. State Senator Roland Gutierrez. How many more kids have to die before we see more machine gun style weapons taken off our streets? This young man went in on his 18th birthday and in 20 minutes walked out with two of these weapons. Brief counselors like Henry Machine gun? See what our uh, current draw is. New York Governor Kathy Hochul wants the legal age to buy guns from 18 to 21. How does an 18 year old purchase an AR 15 in the state of New York, state of Texas? Sorry. I think they call this QSCENT draws 10 milliamps. That's a bit on the high side. Um, for one of these radios. It should be more around five. That could be the transistor I put in is uh, a little bit different. The biasing should be a little bit lighter. The uh, 10, 10 milliamps is, let's go down to six volts. We go down to five milliamps. Nicole Killian. It'll come two years after the death of George Floyd at the hand. The order is expected to include sections to establish an accountability to officers fired for misconduct, a ban on chokeholds, and a restriction on no-knock warrants at the federal level. The head of the FDA tells lawmakers on Capitol Hill inspections could have been handled better at the Michigan plant at the center. Yeah, the current draws a little bit high. I don't think I'm going to worry about it. Like I said, it should be, especially this thing, 5 milliamps maybe. I could lift one side of that transistor out and see what it goes down to. Let me do that. So interesting, with the base of that new transistor disconnected, it goes down 1 milliamp. It's like nothing. Let me disconnect the other one. So with both output transistors disconnected, we're idling at 5.4 milliamps, which still seems a bit high to me. Probably more uh, moisture damage transistors. Now if I connect the new one, the 3199 or whatever, 2SC 3199, says President Biden should appoint a commission of experts to look into the problems that provoke deadly violence at schools. Craig Fickner, KNX News, 97.1 FM. You can California see what it does. Just lifted its lockdown after there were reports of a student with a gun. Uh, if I connect the other other one, the original one. Information about a teen on campus with a handgun about 8.30 this morning. The student was later found taken into custody. So... 10 milliamps with the old one disconnected, or 10 milliamps with the old one connected, 7 milliamps with the new one connected. Maybe I should change out the other old one. Because, yeah, idling at 11 milliamps is pretty. What's a 9-volt battery good for? 100, 150 milliamps, so 6, 8 hours with both of these connected. That's pretty, pretty uh, power hungry. Finalized, the stadium remains under the ownership of the city, and the Angels remain under a lease agreement that binds the through at least 2029, but the city could potentially nasty legal battle with Moreno over a breach of contract. A director at Disney is reportedly at the heart of the alleged political clique in Anaheim, an FBI app. 
Yeah, it's a bit power hungry. Police and fire personnel called to an apartment on the 2000 block of 20th Street about 11 p.m. last night where they found the girls suffering from an apparent overdose. The teens were taken to a hospital where they remain today. Two of the girls are said to be in critical condition. A possible mass shooting now prevented in San Jose. Police seizing an arsenal of weapons from a man including two assault rifles, a number of other handguns, body armor, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. The suspect was fired from his construction job in January, then began leaving threatening messages to his former bosses online. And That's the next thing is to ban body armor. They really want to ban the AR-15. That's the ultimate goal here. Um, I'm not going to do anything else with this. The moisture is just... Bad transistor, definitely moisture intrusion. Uh, the, the bias control on this thing is literally one resistor and that transistor used as a diode. That transistor right there, the one with the purple, is in parallel with this transistor. This is the bias network for this. It, doesn't even use two transistor volt I mean two resistor voltage divider it's just it's one transistor okay let me try that again it's one resistor and a diode a, one resistor and a transistor used as a diode is the bias network and they're in parallel that's correct And put it back together the gamble skagmo I uh, I can put that knob on afterwards this actually kind of like snaps in here got a make sure you get the wires in right That's what it's all about. Who is running for governor right now? Got to move those poll numbers a little bit. Actually, coming from where it was, it's a damn big improvement.
was talking to Caitlin about the fact he made me laugh. He said, I'm telling these brothers now, they can have the streets. I want the shelves in the grocery store. Y'all can have the streets. I want the shelves. So you guys just distributing stuff through delivery, through order, where you crack that code to get get into the shelf to get shelf space in grocery stores. Okay, I I think we can wrap the gamble scogmo. I'm gonna put the screws back in it, and we'll put it up on the shelf where it belongs. There's our replacement transistor right there.